According to Joe Sugarman, who is authority of direct marketing in the U.S., people tend to maintain their consistency of their decision that they once make, and they hardly overturn their decision no matter what kind of position they are in. So he gives us a really good example from his experience at a restaurant in New York, which made him realize the principle of the first psychological trigger. After finishing his dinner at a restaurant, he always ordered a chocolate ice cream. He loved eating chocolate ice cream with whipped cream on the side, and he firstly ordered chocolate ice cream and topping with whipped cream, but a waiter took this order as a chocolate sundae with a chocolate syrup. And a waiter uh, took Sugarman's order as a chocolate sundae and made him pay the price of chocolate sundae, which is 10 cents more expensive than a single chocolate ice cream. So Sugarman unhesitatingly attempted another way of ordering, which is like firstly orders simple chocolate ice cream and he calls out a waiter as she is leaving his table and he asks her to serve additional whipped cream along with chocolate ice cream. And when he checked the bill then, his payment was only for single chocolate ice cream. So he realized the people's tendency that they don't really want to overturn their decision that they once make from his experience. Um, looking back my life, once I decided to buy expensive laptop at an electronic shop, as a store clerk prom prompted me to buy additional uh, laptop accessories and I, ac I finally accepted his offer and bought additional laptop accessories to justify my big decision to buy a laptop. And at the time I left my shop, I felt really refreshing and I was really satisfied with my decision and my imagination went wild using this laptop on my way back home. And this is an ignorable principle and this is an ignorable or psychological trigger that we pay, that we that we must pay attention to when we do business. So once one more thing, one more thing I want to add to this fact is that uh, I didn't have I didn't really have negative uh, negative feeling toward the sale store sorry a store clerk suggesting me to buy additional laptop accessories. Rather, I. I had a feeling of gratitude to to store clerk for letting me know a laptop accessories along with the laptop which I made a really big decision to buy. So probably I was already prepared to buy additional things judging from my budget budget before going to an electronic shop. And moreover, I already have decided to buy accessories in addition to laptop and I probably I probably waited I probably I, I subconsciously waited for the offer from the sales sales clerk from the from the store clerk I think